Well, hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Kay. <laughs> and I'm Rue. And welcome to the adventures of Kay Rue. Um, this uh, episode is going to be about our electric bikes. We've been looking for electric bikes for a long time. Yes. Um, it could be a year, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. 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 We went to Costco. We went to, did Sam? I don't know. Sam Costco. Said, we went to Costco. We checked around. Of course, we checked online. And uh, friends of ours have electric bikes. They have an XP model. And I think that's what we said it settled on. The reason why is. Um, Me being it, so short. Right, right. And it yeah. fits you. And, and it's safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Kay's five foot tall. And uh, it, you want to make sure the seat could be adjusted low enough for her to be able to touch the ground. And this one, this one, uh, this one did it right yeah. so um, I'm gonna go through a couple of things and uh, the first thing coming up would be an unboxing video and then we'll take the bike out put it through his paces uh, tell you a couple of things that uh, y y you know maybe we noticed with the bike but overall I think we're pretty pretty well pleased yes I am all right I'm happy with it well happy happy wife happy life right? that's right that's right what he said <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's get started but uh, I got all the staples removed up top. I've uh, cut back the tape. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this up and, and see what it looks like. Um, feels like it's probably glued, which is really nice. Um, the way they pack it, yeah, it's got a little glue on it. So that's good. Um, let me open it up and uh, let's peek inside and uh, kind of see what it looks like and uh, figure out how we're gonna take it out. All right, so I think I'm gonna probably start by removing some of the packaging material that's free that's gonna gonna be in my way and then um, we'll kind of go from from there the uh, there is an unboxing video and, and I'll try to do a, like a little cameo later of the uh, the website and show you some uh, some information I ran across it's a uh, it's uh, we got the manuals unboxing videos on YouTube everything you would expect to make it a little bit easier um, I did put my uh, my wife Kay's bike together earlier and uh, it was pretty straightforward so I've kind of been able to go through here and kind of get an idea of what I'm getting into but you know once again it wasn't uh, wasn't that difficult to get it unboxed and to get it uh, get it set up right, so looks like there's a few more things I can probably take out there's some cardboard over here um, looks like a couple of warning decals I'm gonna move all this over here out of the way um, all right, so I think I've got everything out of the way. It looks like uh, this is more. more. This like some more foam, so I'm gonna put this out of the way for now. And um, might be another piece down here. Yep, I can remove this. I see another warning decal or label, so we're gonna get that, get that out. Make sure we save that. There's a lot of warning labels I'm seeing now, which. Uh, have QR codes which are probably easy to reference and I'll just I'll just put those aside and all right so I think I got everything clear um, I think it's time to uh, probably pull the bike out it's got a tether it looks like keeping it together it's uh, collapsible I uh, don't see anything else that's gonna get in the way so let's uh, let's see if we can get some handholds and uh, pull the bike out All right, so it looks like I got it out of the bag and looks like it's in really good shape. I did notice the uh, when I took it out, the cord was, uh, charging cord was kind of hanging down. I don't know if that was supposed to be a, a box or not. Uh, when I put Kay's bike together, it was in a box with some uh, information. So I could have missed it, but I don't see the box any anywhere I can find right off the bat. So, uh, <laughs> and it's, uh, not in here I do see the uh, documents way down here um, so I'm gonna pull this out and uh, put it over here so it looks like I've got all the charging uh, material the the pack and also the uh, the cord but uh, I don't see the box that it would have come in uh, anyway let's kind of get started and we'll uh, end up uh, probably start with taking some of these white cable ties off
cut off some of these uh, warning labels and just kind of look over them. Um, in the manual, it makes reference to these. Uh, and also there's an unboxing section in the manual um, as well. So uh, if you feel like you uh, need to review that before you take it out, might not be a bad idea. I'm sure there's a couple of things that uh, that they want to make sure you address, but uh, so far, everything looks pretty good. You're in the back. This looks like something you probably hold on to as you uh, as you fold the bike up so it doesn't uh, doesn't fall open. So we'll go ahead and put this uh, over and kind of in the safe pile. And, uh, All right, I think it's time to open her up. So let me start. Uh, yeah, looks like it's uh, free enough to open up. It looks like uh, there's some pieces I could be dragging on the concrete, so I want to be really careful of those. But I think I'm going to slowly open the bike up. Um, the things that need to be covered looks like they're still covered, so I don't think I'm going to scratch anything as I pull it out. Um, I think at this point I'm going to pull the protective wrapper off the uh, kickstand. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me to probably uh, have the kickstand maybe maybe it resting on the kickstand as I open this up. Um, I think you need to be careful because it's a uh, it's a little squirrely with the uh, the front wheel wanting to follow its direction and kind of run away from the bike and if it did that it looks like it'd fall on its side. So some more wrapping to take off and uh, so one of the things I noticed before I uh, open it up and latch it in place is Kay's bike had a protective um, cap uh, where these go together because um, there are some connections it looks like from the battery back into the bike and I'm sure they go to the tail lights to the motor etc so i um, gonna um, check that out before uh, I open it all the way but it looks like there's no plastic cap on this one so uh, so I think we'll be okay, but just be aware of that when I tried to open hers, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't open up all the way, and uh, it turned out that there was a protective cap I needed to remove. So once that was removed, everything was fine. I need to remove that plastic piece that I mentioned. Uh, wasn't anything there, and it came over real easily. And uh, the next thing I'll do is uh, bring this latch over, and uh, I'll try to do it with one hand. Yep, looks like I got it. And it looks like it has a lock mechanism on it. So at this point, the bike's pretty stable. But uh, I would just be careful when you first get it out uh, of the box and you start to expand it. Uh, look out for that little plastic piece uh, inside the hinged area where the electronics connect to the battery. I assume that's what that is. And then just be careful because if your wheel's turning this way, uh, it spins freely and uh, may want to get away from you. So one of the things maybe to think about doing is putting the kickstand down and then uh, just be careful. bike comes uh, in storage mode I guess it is so uh, it looks like there's a release right here so I'm going to um, pull this up it's a little stiff but I'll pull this up and then all right so uh, I think I'm in pretty good shape um, I know when I, I did the case bike the chain was off but uh, no big deal um, you know if that happens to you this is the uh, change ring back here it might be a, a good idea to uh, bring the chain down to the uh, smallest socket so you have plenty of room and then loop it back on. Um, probably a good idea to wear some uh, some gloves because uh, I don't think it's full of chain lube but uh, definitely probably a little greasy. So uh, I'm gonna end up uh, putting this tube in, um, the stem I guess it is, and then uh, we'll get the handlebars going. So everything looks good so far. So let's pull this up. And it looks like this probably faces the rider. In fact, it's squared off on one end, so uh, easy to figure out how to mount this.
All right, so right off the bat, I noticed this needs to be released. Release the pressure on that. It came close, so it's going to go right down, and then uh, we'll go ahead and latch that in place. One of the things to remember when you latch these uh, quick releases, there's one here, and there's one uh, that you're going to see on the seat. Um, make sure they're tight. You should have a little bit of force to close them, because um, if you don't, they're, they're going to... Um, give way and it may come up or it may go down so the way you do that is to open the quick release as you can see here and then uh, adjust this nut and after you feel like you got it a little bit tighter uh, just try it in stages um, you shouldn't have to beat it closed but it should be pretty firm like it is now when you close it but uh, if the handlebar starts to slip then I'll know I need to probably adjust it a little bit more All right, it looks like uh, the pedals uh, are uh, quick release. So once again, the way it came looks like uh, the way it folds for storage. And uh, we're also gonna check out getting some bins uh, to put in our car. We have a Jeep Cherokee. I know it'll fit, um, but uh, I've, I've seen people and I think our friends actually carry theirs in bins so they stay upright um, as they travel. So. We'll get to that and uh, see if we can kind of make it easier to get them in and out. I think, uh, I believe they weigh 60, 61 pounds um, as you see it now. So it's a little heavy, but not terribly heavy. But still, I think the bins would, um, best case scenario, just keep them from moving around or shifting as we drive. So a few more things to uh, take off here. We'll take that off and uh, really a pretty finish on it. Really pretty bike. Uh, can't wait to put it through its paces. I think I've got everything now. I've noticed this um, I guess this protects the derailleur uh, And maybe that area that's down in here I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off, but I'm gonna save it and uh, The reason I'm gonna save it is in case I ever need to lay it on its side. Maybe I'm Maybe I'm wrong there, but I think it might be something worth saving um, if we decide the bins don't work and we put it in the uh, in the Cherokee and we may be able to carry it uh, on its side like that. Um, but more to come, I think we'll save that. It seems like something that might be a good to have or worth saving. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the cover off the seat. Everything's looking really good. Uh, when we ordered this, it was August 2023, and uh, they had a deal where uh, and no additional charge you get the uh, bigger seat which uh, I think we both will enjoy but also uh, a spring I guess is built into that seat tube that you see so give you that rear suspension because it does have uh, does have front suspension and um, and make the ride maybe a little bit more uh, a little bit more easier for for us and uh, I think the addition of the balloon style tires too gives a lot of suspension as well so uh, we'll continue to uh, remove things. Got another, I uh, see the keys. Um, and then um, I was uh, put Kay's bike together earlier and uh, noticed that there's some foam inserts between the tire and the fender. So make sure you get those out. And there's one in the back as well. Remove this plastic so covering off of here. There's another piece that's on here. There's another piece of uh, plastic that we're going to probably leave on there for a little bit just until everything is okay as, as the same as it is here on the shifter it looks like uh looks like that's it i need to do a couple more things and if you notice these connections i'm going to have to hook those up so we will uh we'll get that done real quick they um have little flanges on them so they only go one way and it looks like those are uh really thin pieces of connector in there so you want to be careful don't force them uh, make sure they uh they glide in slowly so you don't break anything off. The only thing I've noticed is uh, it's a little awkward putting in the key. Um, you have the cables, the cable system that runs in front of it. Maybe I can uh, loosen that and move it over a little bit. It's got a guide right here, so um, it's going to probably want to bring it back. But um, I noticed on this one they're out of guide a little bit, so probably not that big of a deal, but I'm I think, about you know, everything's going really well, and I really like the bike, and I'm sure it's going to perform great, but, you know, this is a little, uh, I think they could have designed this a little bit differently, but uh, get my hands in there and push it back in, and, uh, yeah, it's a little, a little cumbersome, but, uh, and then I'm going to try to turn it back on, and uh, still having a little bit of a problem here. There we go. 
So um, got the key back on, but definitely have to address that. So I just want to make you aware of that um, as you get going. And then so now um, I'm going to go over here and uh, power it on. And uh, the console unit or head unit, I guess, should come on. I had to hold it down for like a second and it comes up. But uh, need to really familiarize myself with the manual and all the different nuances of... Uh, of the uh, display unit um, it looks like it's it's ready to go at this time so just be careful um, and the reason I say that zero shouldn't have any power and it doesn't but once you go and I'm gonna go ahead and push it into pedal assist I know it's PAS stands for pedal assist once I do that you really need to be careful because if you go to hop on the bike and you grab this area and you give it any twist at all, you're going to get some power back to the motor and the bike's going to go on and want to go forward. So just be noticeable that when you mount the bike, just remember if you don't want to twist anything, maybe go a little bit wide. Um, but just be careful when you do that. That was something I noticed on Cave. All right, as promised, I wanted to take you on a quick 50 cent tour of the uh, Electric Bikes website. Primarily to show you this thing I ran across. Uh, Here's the home page, uh, the menu across the top. I went to support just, uh, I was starting to familiarize myself with the bike and uh, thought I would uh, see if this would be where I'd go to get help. I, you know, probably goes without saying, but when I clicked it down, uh, what got my attention was the XP 3.0 service built. And so uh, we bought an, uh, two XP 3.0s. So when I clicked it on, it said, uh, click here to download, has to do with brakes. Um, it looks like it's pretty straightforward. There is a uh, video down here of how to check this out, uh, how to adjust the brakes if you need be. But uh, I'm glad they communicate stuff like that. The only thing I was thinking is it'd be nice to get an email. Maybe they did. Uh, and just as a new owner, I haven't seen that. Maybe it doesn't apply to the step through. I'll read this in depth a little bit more. But I wanted to share that with you because I think it's, uh, unless there's a campaign where they email you, it's probably a good idea to... Uh, Maybe every now and then look at the support area to make sure your bike's safe and everything is uh, within spec. Um, the other thing is here on the home page, you can go to Shop eBikes to find your manual. You may be familiar with that, but you would go here and like uh, click on your model. And like most manufacturers uh, anymore, uh, everything's online, including the manual. So I, I kind of like that. I know it, at first it was like, gosh, I, I wish I had it here in front of me, but... Uh, I like being able to download it. I have it on my iPad or have it on my phone, especially if I need to figure out or troubleshoot something while I'm uh, using the bike in this case. But if you go about a third of the way down, you'll come across the manuals and some videos. And here they are right, right here. Um, there's, a man, there's, a, excuse me, there's a video uh, that they do, I guess, in the factory with unboxing. So some great resources here, but uh, um, product manual, this is where it lives, not in your box uh, when your e-bike arrives. But that's it, just wanted to kind of show you around. Are you ready? I am ready. Well, come over here then. Where am I coming? How about this side? All right, here we are. We're at one of our favorite bike parks and we are gonna test these electric bikes out. So the last thing I did um, is uh, torque the axles. I think they were 35 Newton metric. Uh, make sure you check the manual, but make sure those were tight, of course, and then check the air in the tire. But I think everything else is good, so we're going to put these uh, put these to the test and uh, see how they uh, fare. So, are you ready, Kay? I am ready. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to do that again. <laughs> what am I going to say? <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you ready, Kay? Are you ready, Ru? <laughs> we're ready, Kay Ru Power. Because dogs. <laughs> There you are. I was by myself. I was alone. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, I agree with the seat. The seat's kind of yeah, like. It's yeah. I feel I, like maybe we should have changed my seat. Well, the other one will be here Wednesday or Thursday. No, Tuesday. It may be here Tuesday. So it's coming. That and all the other accessories are coming too. So.
So, what do you think so far? No, I like it. Yeah, me too. I like it. Me too. Kind of getting used to the pedal assist versus going uphill, downhill. I think the pedal assist, I don't know if it worked that way for you, but for me, I could only, you could only go so fast, it seemed like, even when you're pedaling. Like oh, in with one. The one. With yeah. the one. Two just takes off. Two just takes off. Yeah. The other thing that I noticed is um, the throttle's on the right, it's on the inside. And I was afraid I was going to do it, and Kay did it, but it's probably good that you figured out what not to do because yeah. there's um, so the inside, the throttle on the right hand side split in two, so the innermost part is the throttle, right? And then the rest is stationary. Yeah. So uh, when she was walking the bike or getting ready to move it, she accidentally turned that part of the throttle, and the bike takes off, and she's not on it. She so just had to be careful of that. Yeah. But overall, I, I think two thumbs up, good choice for us. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I, I mean, um, especially me being so short. Yeah, yeah, you seem to be just flying in the breeze there, having a good time. So That's me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's her. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we were just checking in. Okay. Okay. So we did our first uh, electric bike ride today. Yeah, we did. And, and it was, uh, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was easier. Yeah. Um, Do you feel like you, you got the right bike? Because we looked at a whole bunch. Yeah, but only thing is I cannot lift it. Yeah, it's to take it's, in and out of the um, yeah. car. Yeah, it's sixty pounds, so it's 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 you know, heavier than your average bike. But and uh, plus, plus it's kind of awkward to hold it. To carry yeah, to it, lift it, to yeah. lift it, and all that kind of stuff, and so, even collapse it a little bit. Kind right. of that kind of getting the learning curve. But I think maybe. I want to keep my other bike also when yeah. I, I go bike with the Sherry. Yeah, yeah, we may keep uh, uh, the other bikes as a backup in case you know Kay goes by herself. But these yeah. will definitely go with the RV when we uh, go out and about. Right. But uh, Definitely think we made a good choice of all the bikes we looked at. Definitely fits K really good, but uh, had a really good time, and um, I think it performed pretty, yeah, pretty much yeah, flawlessly. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with yeah, it. Yeah, so all's good. All right. All is good. All right. Well, we appreciate you tuning in, and uh, more videos to come. See you. Bye. Bye.